legal ways across the country and to make sure that those risks are mitigated. Okay. We were aware of the situation long before he was aware of it. Okay. So you knew that people were faking the ID cards? We expected that there would be attempts to fake ID cards in Maryland. Mm. This is a normal thing. L that... Let me hold on, Mr. Nangwe. You said uh, you expected? Yes. So it means that when you were producing the cards, uh, didn't you put in features that would have been difficult to fake? It is, it is not about features. Okay. So what happens is that IDs, ID ecosystems, actually, uh, this year, mm -hmm. and ask us to put a fence around their system of delivering relief okay. to Marylanders. Mm -hmm. So this organization needed people, like the way we used to receive cell food and all that. Okay. So the way ID things work is that it's just like when you have an, an empty piece of land and you plant land. Mm -hmm on the food, eh? you, because they are giving this uh, relief assistance to certain groups of Marylanders, mm -hmm. somebody is saying to themselves, if I get, what their requirement is you got to have a national ID card. So somebody is saying to themselves, if I have three ID cards, if I got four ID cards, then I'm going to get more supplies. So we expected this to happen. Okay. And when the organization started to distribute their benefits, they came to us and they said, they were the first that came to us. They said, we have seen an attempt to breach our system with ID cards. We told them, relax. Don't worry about yourself. Because we expected this to happen and we have measures in place. So the people that try to, to breach their fence mm -hmm. and get free supplies have not been successful to do it. Because we have, I will show you our verification system. We have a system that can prevent uh, fake cards from entering any major system in this country. You sure of that? Oh, yes. I'll show it to you. Now, so were you able to see the cards that were being reproduced by this uh, Ghanaian or Nigerian? In, uh, uh, you know, a sample of the card? The cards are the cards were confiscated and they, are, they were with the police. The case has been turned over from the, uh, to the court. Uh, it's going to go to court. And we have said, I have not seen the cards. Okay. Uh, in the physical cards, I've seen photos of them. The cards I've seen, I think there were six cards, okay, and then people use the word mass production. Mass production. Uh, those cards never worked. They cannot get into our system because the system is strong, is robust, is designed to make sure that you're not going to bring fake cards into it. But I saw, I saw the picture, uh, Mr. Tiananmen, and it doesn't, it doesn't look different from the one you produced. So I, I think, I think what you seem to be concerned about mm -hmm. is that one will produce a card that will be difficult for you to produce something that looks like it. Okay. okay. The looks might look similar to you, but they are different. Mm -hmm. And that's how the people who notice the cars are fake were able to find that the cars are fake. But in today's modern IDs uh, uh, management arrangements, mm -hmm. it is not even about the look of the car or the quality of the car. In fact, by early next year, the, N the NIR mm -hmm. will be introducing digital IDs. Mm -hmm. So there are there are big ID systems in the world that don't use card. Okay. Okay. So the strength of the ID system is no longer now based on the card's quality. Okay. Or the card's look. It's based on electronic. Uh, it's based on digital technologies around the system. Some of which I'm going to show you. Mm -hmm. I mean, people carry their ID cards on their phones. By next year, early next year, when we introduce digital ID, you don't need any card in your wallet. Okay. Okay? So for it to even resemble, the, 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 it's a technology, it's a system around the card. Okay. Okay? People 